All right, welcome back to our Air Sea Race update. This is our Air Sea Race Pond Racer. Thought you might enjoy this view. Let me kind of pan around a little bit. This is such a cool looking airplane when you throw that canopy on there. Now it's really starting to look like a pond racer. So the great thing about this is that the previous owner, well, let me explain the kit. When you order the kit, Michael at Air Sea Race, he'll custom it, custom make it for you in terms of whatever you want done. And one of the options he offers is either a clear canopy or a carbon fiber. And as you can see, we got a gorgeous carbon fiber. I love that carbon fiber. It just pops. Obviously, the real one just had a tinted uh, clear canopy. But uh, but you can see it really just adds a nice look to it. It really just kind of gives it its its, its appearance. And, and he, But then once you add that canopy, that's when it really starts looking fast, even just sitting there. So basically what you end up with is you've got the canopy here, as you can see, and it does have, if you look very carefully, it does have the outlines, the panel lines. Uh, there we go, that's a great shot. There's a panel line right there, panel line right there. So if you want, when you go to paint the uh, the plane, you can actually uh, paint the actual panel lines themselves and, and give it a nice finished look. Um, but you've got the canopy itself, carbon fiber, and then what we have underneath, if I can carefully remove this, uh, let's see, let's bring this, oops, okay, one second, I'm just trying not to drop the frame, there we go, okay, and there's our frame, our canopy frame, so the first thing we need to do is we need to glue that onto there, that's the first step, uh, so that'll be our focus initially, and then what'll happen is, let's set this down, back here, uh, we're going to put a uh, a pin and um, a spring pin, spring hinge, spring pin, and which will which will go through the hole here to help hold that in place. And in the very front of the frame, right there, we'll wind up putting a pin through the center. So basically, it drops the pin would drop into the front, and then when the rear of the canopy drops down, then the spring pin will then come forward and go through the frame. And to show you which spring pin I'm using, one second, we're gonna go with the one I picked up from F3A Unlimited. So F3A Unlimited is the uh, online company and this is the pin. Now they have some wonderful selections of the pins. I was deciding what to do, whether I was going to go with a well, one of their canopy locks, which from Seacraft, which are just gorgeous. I mean, these things are absolutely beautiful. Um, or go with the, um, you know, they, they also, F3 also sells these canopy locks as well. And they sell them in different configurations where the pin comes down or the pin comes from the side. Uh, so definitely check out their website. Great website. Um, F3Aunlimited.com. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and just use the pin for right now, especially after talking with Michael over at Air Sea Races. That's all really all they're doing. They're just using this this, uh, this uh, aluminum canopy latch uh, end pool, meaning that the, end, the, the pool is here rather than being in, in the middle where you where, where, right there where you would normally see it in some planes. So with that, we're going to get started with that, um, and we'll see how this turns out. More to come. All right, uh, as we continue with the Air Sea Race Pond Racer, um, we are now doing the canopy. And you can see here the white thing is the frame. So when they give you the plane, they actually give you a really nice fiberglass frame. And then that gets attached to the actual canopy itself, whether it be clear or carbon fiber. In this case, it's carbon fiber. Right now I'm doing a dry fit, just trying to get an idea how, how to go about putting this together. And obviously we have these wonderful clamps, you know, that you use in the office to hold papers together. Uh, and they work really well. They go around there just perfect and they're keeping everything nice and tight. And then we have the small Irwin clamps, as you can see here. These rubber footings are, are helping quite a bit. And that, this seems like this, this upside down technique is gonna work well. Obviously we're gonna get a lot of glue that's gonna run down, uh, which I don't care about because, you know, this is uh, carbon fiber, you're not gonna see it. If it was clear, it would be a problem. Um, but I think this is gonna work great. So. Uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, just um, just do a dry fit for right now, and then tomorrow uh, we'll go ahead and we'll glue this in place and let this sit for a while. But uh, yeah, it's it's really well made, and this is actually going to be easier to do than most airplanes because we have this 
wonderful frame as you can see here. So, uh, more to come. All right, so we're continuing with our canopy installation. Uh, what we're doing right now is we're preparing for the actual latch itself. Uh, what we've done, first of all, is we uh, measure back from the edge here to where the pull pin is located, and that's this front portion, right? That's the front portion right here. And then you measure the distance the pin travels when it's pulled back, and that's how you get the additional opening here. Now, the holes you see here are for the holes that are in this actual uh, pin here, uh, the latch, I mean, excuse me. And then what we're going to do now is now we're going to go ahead, we're going to drill a hole right here, where it, right dead center between those lines and where you see that line going down. And that will give us our hole where the pin will come out of. And then what we'll do is we'll go through, we'll wind up bolting this in place. Rather than gluing it, we'll just bolt it in place. I'm not a fan of using glue on the hatches for fear that you get glue inside the, the actual hatch latch itself. So if you can bolt them in place, that's always a better way to go about doing bolt or screw. Um, what we're going to do too for the actual canopy is I've ordered mold release. I was chatting with Michael at RC Race. You take mold release, you run it all along here, then you put the frame on top, and then you actually glue the canopy onto the frame while it's on the plane itself. And you wind up putting on three coats of mold release. You put a coat on, you rub it, buff it off, put a coat on, buff it off, put a coat on, buff it off. And that way, when you're using the epoxy, if any gets into the actual frame itself, it'll still lift right up without any problems. At least it should. So anyway, all right, so more to come. All right, folks, as we continue with our installation here of the canopy in the Air Sea Race Pond Racer, I want to show you what I did. So we have the latch in place, as you can see. And if you look very carefully, if you look between the latch and the top of the fuselage, you'll see there's a nut. Those nuts are acting as spacers. Initially, I had, it, had the latch sitting flush directly up against the fuselage, but that did not work because some of the epoxy or uh, epoxy fiberglass that was sticking out was preventing the pin from moving. So by adding those 256 uh, nuts in there, they acted, acted as spacers. And now it's very smooth, works perfect. Nice and smooth, no problems whatsoever. Nice and smooth. So um, we're, we did 256 socket heads uh, and uh, to go through the bottom, then put the, the nuts on there to act as spacers. And then on the top here, you can see we use just 256 uh, nuts here to hold that in place, and that works perfect. Now, initially, I just had just a, a regular hole drilled, but it made it very difficult to install this because you have to put the, uh, the 256 screws into the, um, into the latch first, canopy latch, uh, before you actually put the screws up through the holes. So in order for this to fit properly, I just had to kind of make a little tunnel here, I guess you could say it, a little channel. Uh, so that way it just made it easier to insert the actual latch. Um, now the holes that were drilled on top, you're gonna wanna make them 440 uh, because that then gives you enough room to be able to slide those screws right up through, the screws that are attached to the latch, right up through the holes easily without any problem. And uh, you can see it's a perfect, it, the, the spacing for the um, uh, latch is perfect. And the way you can tell is watch the pin Notice how it just barely sticks out, and that's what you're looking for. You're looking for maximum extension with minimum sh uh, amount of the actual pin showing when you pull back, therefore makes it easier to remove the latch. So that's in place. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our frame on there. We're gonna get our canopy frame on here, and we're gonna go ahead and drill the holes here, and also the hole up front. And then from there, we're just gonna need to wait for the mold release to arrive uh, but I think what we'll do is we'll probably move on to the pods so we're not wasting any time. We're going to keep things moving. All right, more to come. All right, folks, continuing with our installation of our canopy. You can see here we got a little piece of hardwood on the back. Actually, it was balsa initially is what we put on. And the reason why I first used the balsa is because once the, once the epoxy sets, you set the, um, what you do is you take the canopy frame and you actually set it on the plane like so. And because the balsa is soft, what you do is you wind up pushing it against the pin here, and that makes the indentation. Then you initially draw the, uh, or drill the hole through the indentation. Then what I did is I used a piece of hardwood, I'm sorry, used a piece of hardwood 
uh, which is just a, a part of a popsicle stick right there. That's the hardwood. And then you just re-drill the hole through the hardwood and it is absolutely perfect. It provides a very nice, clean, and easy little attachment for our latch here. Well, anyway, I can't do it with one hand. But anyway, so nonetheless, so, um, so that, portion, that portion up here is done. And now we need to go ahead and focus up here. We're gonna uh, put a pin of some kind through here. Um, attach the pin here, pass it through there. I think that's probably gonna be it. I'll double check with Michael. Uh, but nonetheless, so canopy is coming along. We'll, we'll get this drilled and attached. And then, like I said, we're just waiting for the release agent to arrive and then we can go ahead and glue the canopy in place. And then that will be, that'll be finished. And then we can go ahead and move on to the pods. Although I think I'm gonna go ahead and get, move on to the pods and then come back to the canopy once we're done setting everything up. All right, more to come. All right, continuing with our update with regards to the canopy for the uh, Air Sea Race Pond Racer. What we've done here, I'm chatting with Michael over at Air Sea Race, the designer and manufacturer of the Pond Racer. And what he recommended when you're doing the can when you're doing the canopy, you want to have a piece of wood underneath here. You can see it there. Underneath, it's being glued in place. Uh, I cut it so it matches the shape of the front portion right here. Just some balsa, uh, probably about quarter inch balsa. That's all it really needs to be. Uh, and in addition to that, let me take you over to the frame, which is drying a piece of wood on the top of the frame here and then directly underneath the frame. It's about one eighth inch ply. You're gonna to wanna to sand it to shape and round off the front. I wouldn't go any thicker than one eighth inch ply um, because you don't, whoops, you don't want it to extend past this lip. This lip will rest on the fuselage and if that glues into place it won't rest on the fuselage properly anyway what will happen is then you use a six millimeter carbon fiber solid not tube uh rod okay uh to insert uh through the hole here and then of course the hole is also drilled into the fuselage in the same place so we're gonna let this sit and dry um and then once this is dry we'll remount the frame and then drill the necessary holes and then that's pretty much it for the frame you don't really need to do anything else at this time uh until the uh until it comes time to mount the actual uh, um windshield there as you can see all right more to come